Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Virgo? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are being safe out there. Let's get into your reading Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now for those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, so you guys can continue supporting our channel so that it may continue uh, grow. It may continue growing. Sorry. Um, also, I do want to let you guys know that we have a lot of videos coming um, as well as the series that we've been talking about for quite a while. For those of you guys that are interested in interpreting the cards or learning the tarot, definitely stay tuned to that. I will be announcing further announcements a little bit more around the month of November and December. Anyways, for those of you guys that are interested in getting consultations, now is the time to reach out as we are opening calendar for spell work as well as consultations. Keep in mind the end of the year is the busiest. It's almost felt like this whole year has been extremely busy um, and we haven't really had a chance to open calendar that often. So now is the time to reach out. All right, let's get into your reading Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love life. Please give us clarity and insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Allow us to see exactly what Virgo needs to see, what they need to hear. What is it that they need to know at this present time regarding their love life? Thank you, Spirits. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. All right, we're starting off here with the Five of Cups. Okay, a bit of emotional. I'm hearing an emotional roller coaster for some of you guys. Keep in mind, we did have Saturn as well as Mercury and other three planets in retrograde, but Saturn just recently went direct as well as Jupiter, and Mercury will be going uh, direct as well on the 18th of this month. So a lot of revisiting of the past, a lot of past traumas coming up to surface, having to kind of deal with that type of energy, especially when we're talking about missing or thinking of a person from the past. Your next card here is the Ace of Cups. So I definitely do see you contemplating. There's almost like the sadness surrounding you, Virgo. Um, and it's not sadness so much about the past, but more so about the present and the future. I see you guys really contemplating about love or having the desire, the want to be in a committed long-term or monogamous relationship. And there's almost this feeling of questioning, um, making the bigger questions in life, right? Uh, I see you guys really, like I said, internalizing and questioning or wondering, when will I ever receive, you know, this loving energy or reciprocation for some of you guys? It's almost like a feeling of always being left um, empty handed. It's almost like you guys go above and beyond for people and that reciprocation is never fully there. So there is definitely a lot of internalizing that's going on with you guys right now when we're talking about relationships. Your next card here is the page of pentacles. So it's working through these emotions. And I think that for a lot of Virgos, this whole year has been extremely uh, substantial when we're talking about like uh, career goals, uh, finances. It's like you've been on this wave, right? On this wave of progress and movement and expansion. But I feel that through this process, a lot of you guys have had or have fallen into the tendency of overworking or pushing yourselves because there is a almost the moment of if I stop, I'm going to uh, kind of, you know, um, start missing or start uh, nostalgia is what I'm hearing for some of you guys in regards to your love and romance. So there's almost this feeling of um, ha having or feeling like there is a lot of instability in your emotional sector. And again, for some of you guys, it's been a long journey, a lot of healing that's been happening, a lot of expansion also. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you kind of keep just going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Um, but a lot of it has a lot to do with the moment you have time or the moment you have a uh, a chance to take a step back and to take a breather it's almost like when you do that there is this missing or this wanting this yearning for a relationship a commitment or for those of you guys that are in a relationship almost the feeling of having the need to experience some type of emotional support so for some of you guys there is lack of that in the relationship or with the person that you're currently dealing 
Now the next card here is the moon card and the five of swords. So there's a lot of things that we are internalizing right now. It's like you are looking at your life almost like a like a movie that is uh, unfolding and there is this feeling of unhappiness or this feeling of loneliness um, with the moon card the desire to suppress for some of you guys um, it could even speak about with the five of cups it could even speak about uh, finding ways for finding ways to suppress or to escape the reality of what you feel late at night um, with your thoughts in your room uh, so it's almost like a ruminating type of energy of escapism. For some of you guys, it could be like, uh, if you're spiritual, it could be like becoming overly spiritual, um, overly meditating. Uh, and it's a form of defense mechanism, but also a form of escapism. For others of you, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be substances that um, you're finding or you're getting accustomed to because of this oppression that you're wanting to escape from. Uh, this feeling of not wanting to uh, embrace or that or see things from a different perspective is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, again, I feel that there is a lot of instability when we're talking about love and romance. And it has more to do with the people that you choose to give your time to, Virgo. Uh, Page of Pentacles usually indicates, you know, communication, but it's communication that usually comes through a distance. So for some of you guys having the tendency of connecting or getting emotionally invested on people that are either at a distance or people that you know are emotionally unavailable and it's almost like a it's like a magnet to you that you're just drawn into this type of energy and what spirit is telling you it's time for you to shed the old in order to embrace the new virgo and this yes has a lot to do with letting go of past uh behaviors um again if you know you're dating someone and getting to know someone and you start to fall for them and all of a sudden it kind of seems like it falls to apart or it falls to pieces there's almost this feeling of okay here we go again um let me you know over party or surround myself with many people because i'm trying to ignore the fact that now i feel lonely or now i feel like i'm completely alone and what spirit is telling you is you're never alone virgo and the more you vibrate from this energy the stronger the tendencies are to attract those that are either broken or attract those that are feeling lonely as well. But it doesn't mean that it's long term. It means that they themselves are in a place of, you know, not being content or being unhappy. And that's what you're drawing in. So it's about self-love as well as the self actual is <clears throat> sorry the self-actualization of realizing that all the love and the desire that you are seeking is not from outside but from within you virgo the moment you understand this and realize this is when you're going to be able to fully embrace and bring that stability that you're looking for here with the queen of pentacles feeling content um feeling balanced feeling stable and also uh, finding a partner that is loyal. We do have the dog here, and the dog is always a representation of loyalty. It's a representation of authentic caring and nurturing of the counterpart, meaning our partner, the person that we're attracting to ourselves. I do see that for a lot of you guys. I want to say this full moon that's coming on October, there's going to be some type of shifting of energy where you're going to start to uh, do a lot of self-care, a lot of, um, you know, treating yourself and taking care of yourself and for some of you guys there could be like a revamp of some type of image um it could be you guys taking on um the you know doing a makeover starting to dress or, or, or a certain type of um change that is going to be unfolding on the physical aspect so for some of you guys it could be cutting your hair dyeing your hair doing something a little bit different and this is something that is very important because when, what they're telling you here is when you start to feel that it's the moment um, to fully embrace that energy because there is a regeneration of energy that is going to be unfolding for you guys. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see each other soon. Bye.